And welcome back to your Sport Zone report for today. And we'll lead off with some upcoming basketball coming up as we transition out of football. Basketball will be coming up in just a few weeks. Actually, this coming weekend, we'll kick off high school basketball in the area and the Riverbend Classic at New Madrid County Central. Always big games there each year. And this Friday, New Madrid County Central versus Cape Central starting at 2. And following is Scott County Central versus Covington, Tennessee. Charleston versus West Memphis of Arkansas, Kennett versus Liberty Tech of Tennessee, and Saturday's games kicking off with Scott County Central versus Kennett at two, Liberty Tech of Tennessee versus New Madrid County Central, Covington Tennessee versus Charleston, and West Memphis Arkansas versus Cape Central. So look forward to those games uh, this Friday and Saturday at New Madrid, and also in uh, the Bernie Invitational Tournament getting underway next Monday. And the 1-8 game is Bernie and Campbell. The 4-5 game, Risco versus Holcomb. The 3-6 game, Twin Rivers versus Piggott. And the 2-7 game is Puxco versus Bloomfield. And we'll be covering the finals of that Bernie Invitational Tournament, which is next Friday, December 6th. We'll cover that Bernie Invitational Final from Bernie. That will be live as well. We'll be looking forward to going down there for that. And the Girls Farmington Invitational Tournament gets underway next week as well. And that'll be Dexter with the top seed at number one, taking on eight Roosevelt. The 4-5 game, Farmington versus Jackson. The 3-6 game, Cape Notre Dame versus Notre Dame of St. Louis. And the 2-7 game, Miller Career Academy versus DeSoto. So a uh, big tournament there up in Farmington for the girls each year. And that'll be getting underway next week as well. Also, there's the Oran Invitational Tournament up in Oran. Don't quite yet have the, that bracket, but that takes place the same week as well. So those are the three big tournaments taking place at the first, and as all, uh, also the SEMO Conference Tournament, which that will be getting underway a little later, I believe. That will be around the, uh, I believe that's around uh, later on in the month, right around the 10th around, around that week. So that's a couple weeks later. But we do have our broadcast schedule. Uh, configured, and you can go online to see it for yourself at uh, yhctv.com slash yhcbasketball. You, you hover over the YHC Sports uh, on the home page. You hover over it and click on YHC Basketball. Check out our schedule, or you can uh, just see it right here. We got it here for you. And starting off with our first game that we intend to do is we mentioned Bernie Invitational Tournament Finals on December 6th. And followed up on December 10th, that's Mullen at Gideon. December 13th, Haytai at Portageville. December 17th, Kennedy at Malden. December 19th, Haytai at Holcomb. On December 20th, Portageville at Kennett. On December 26th through the 30th, that's the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament, all 26 games. And uh, January 3rd, we've got Harrisbury at Piggott. January 6th. Is that the 6th or the 8th? I believe that's the 6th. Uh, January 6th, New Madrid County Central at Malden. January 7th, Portageville at Dexter, or excuse me, Perryville at Dexter. December 10th, or excuse me, January 10th, Holcomb at Campbell. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, December, or January 14th, Risco at Clarkton. January 17th, Bernie at Dexter. January 20th, Bernie at Holcomb. January 21st, Bernie at Bloomfield. January 24th, New Madrid County Central at Dexter, January 27th, Gideon at Portageville, January 28th, Gideon at Risco, January 31st, the Stoddard County Activity Association Finals Night at Dexter, and that'll be the JV and Varsity third place and championship games, four games that night on January 31st. Uh, February 4th, Marmaduke at Rector, February 7th, the Moodle Conference Finals at Campbell, and that'll be the JV and Varsity Finals. So two games there on the 7th of February. February 11th, Haytai at Bernie. Uh, February 13th, Piggott at Rector. February 14th, Dexter at Kennett. Uh, February 17th for the girls, Poplar Bluff at Dexter. February 18th, Poplar Bluff at Dexter for the boys. February 20th. Scott County Central at New Madrid County Central, February 21st, Bernie at Sykeston, February 24th, uh, two girls games there at the end of the, se at the, end of the season, uh, February 24th, Jackson at Dexter, and the 27th, Sykeston at Dexter. And those are the games we intend to broadcast 
this year here on YHC. And that, sub, that uh, schedule is subject to change. And additionally, we're going to look to uh, broadcast games online, SeamoSportZone.com as well, with SEMO Conference games. We're going to try to broad, uh, broadcast six to eight SEMO Conference games uh, throughout the SEMO Conference on top of the, those games that we mentioned. And those will be exclusively on SEMOSportZone.com. We may replay them here on YHC, but they will air live on SEMOSportZone.com. And also to follow up with that schedule, uh, pretty much all of those games besides maybe one or two will be live. So we're expanding our live schedule, and we intend to bring all of those games live this year with the exception of possibly uh, Malden at Gideon there on December 10th. But other than that, uh, we're confident we can bring all those games live to you here on YHC and uh, also YHCTV.com and even SEMOSportZone.com. So uh, some games will be better quality than others. It's just a matter of the technology we're using to go live from each location. Uh, the, the, uh, the broadcast will be best from here at Dexter, Bloomfield, and uh, also Rector and Piggott, Clarkton, uh, those those gyms they should be the best quality, and the the other schools won't be as good a quality. Risco you can include Risco in there as well, but uh, some of the other schools such as Malden, Portageville, uh, Kennett, uh, Bernie, Malden if I didn't mention them, uh, those school the other schools that we'll be doing such as those won't be as good a quality, but they will be brought to you live. Uh, it's just the best we can do. But you know, we've went we've come a long way from just a few years ago. We didn't do any of the games live and. Now we're doing all but one, looks like we'll be doing live this year. So we've come a long way, and uh, we're proud of what we've done here in the past few years with uh, conjunction with New Wave Communications. So look forward to our first game getting underway next Friday, the Bernie Invitational Tournament Finals, live from Bernie. So look forward to that. And we're ready to go once again this year at high school basketball. And that's all we've got for your Sport Zone for today.